Hello everyone, it's Ernie, and this is Ernie Live, and we are thrilled to be here at Theater Under the Stars for the big announcement of the final show of their 50th anniversary season. And we're going to find out in just a couple minutes, so please get your friends, tell them to go log in. If you're a theater geek like I am, you're dying to know what the show is going to be. And the ultimate theater geek is here with us. He's the artistic director at Theater Under the Stars, Dan Connectus. Hello, Hi. Dan. I'm a theater geek. I really you, am. You really are. Yeah. We've been I sitting see everything. Here. So. We've been sitting here waiting to go. And we've been chatting and just going on and on. And you've got like so many layers of stories to tell yeah. about all of this. But in the next couple of minutes, we are going to announce what you guys have been holding on to as a very tight secret. The yeah. final show of your 50th anniversary season. We are. It, it took a lot for us to be able to announce it. And there was a lot of work, a lot of phone calls, emails to arrange this production so uh i'm so <laughs> thrilled to like finally let the cat out of the bag and if you've got questions if you've got comments you can comment right below shannon's working the camera today and so she'll uh, yell out any of your questions or comments you have as we continue through here but remember we want you to be part of this and uh you've got dan here you can question him all you want <laughs> and i will tell you that i i'm surprised if anybody guessed what show it is well two people did out of about 500 actually who put guesses into our season subscription sweepstakes. And we're going to announce the winner of that today, too. Yeah, we are. So that's <laughs> exciting. Uh, somebody's going to get two free tickets to the whole season, which that this is a killer season. It's going to be really exciting. Okay, before we get to the one everyone's waiting yeah. for, take me through the season a little bit. Sure. Um, you know, it is our 50th, so... Uh, we made a very concerted effort and very pointed effort to uh, self-produce all six shows, which is a huge <laughs> feat. Yeah. You're probably going to see me a year from now with eye bags that don't just go to here, but go to here. Uh, <laughs> kind of like when you see a president so yeah. many years into there, how much uh, they uh, age. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I had hair, it would be great. Um, and uh, we are... Uh, so of all of those six, and we thought, well, we really have to honor the legacy of 50 years of an arts institution, which is a big thing. Most arts institutions last 20 years, I think, is the average. Yeah. And the fact that Houston, these people supported this arts organization, Theater Under the Stars, and made it a beloved part of Houston is incredible. I think some people miss the fact how important it is to have a musical theater producing company here. Yeah. You can easily figure out an opera, a ballet, a symphony, but that this is just as important. It's, yes. it's the American art form. Absolutely. We are it's the the one art form that America can fully embrace and export, you know, yeah. uh, as our own. Um, and also locally produced, we, you know, the Broadway series is great, but those are tours coming in and we are employing local, uh, local musicians, local stagehands, local actors, uh, and it's impressive that we're doing all six. Okay, before we announce the yeah. show, everyone wants to hear about the other five shows this season So are. we have a lot of anniversaries within our anniversary. Yeah. Oklahoma is the opener, which it's the 75th anniversary of Oklahoma. Uh, and we are doing a co uh, creative collaboration with the ballet. So we'll be having our huge company of professional actors along with their core of That's 20 awesome. dancers, which is going to be unbelievable. Yeah. Then we have one of my all-time favorite shows, The Wiz, which will <laughs> be uh, taking place right after that. Then the 25th anniversary of Beauty and the Beast. Has it 20, been 25 years? 25 years to the date when <laughs> Theater Under the Stars presented it, which is incredible fact that Theater Under the Stars presented the theatrical uh, debut of Beauty and the Beast. Right. Then a new classic, Mamma Mia, <laughs> which I can't wait. I'm directing. It's uh, one of my favorite experiences. It's like cotton candy. Will this summer's Mamma Mia 2 change any of your influences on Mamma Mia? No, but I can't wait to see <laughs> Cher in it. I think that's amazing. All right, we're geeking out. I know. Little. Continue and then on. Another new classic that has not been done at Theater Under the Stars. It's a premiere at Theater Under the Stars, which is Ragtime, which is one of my all-time favorite shows from the last uh, couple years. 
uh, or 20 years. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's been a little longer. Yeah, than that. it's 20. <laughs> it's their 20th anniversary actually in 2018. So it'll be 21 uh, years. And Steve uh, Flaherty and Lynn Aarons are going to be coming uh, oh, wow. to it uh, as well. So that is that show. And then we looked at the whole season, and we thought. Am I allowed to announce what our... Are we ready? I am ready. Are you ready out there? People so, have been waiting? So another setup for this, and we were going back and forth about what great classic musical could we add to this slate that has a, a past with Theater Under the Stars, and we could not choose from all of the great shows, so we decided to do them all. <laughs> It's a bit misleading what he's saying there. No, it is not. <laughs> so all of we are doing a, a show that won the award for best musical in 1989. Yeah. It's called Jerome Robbins Broadway. There we have. After all this wait, Jerome Ro I am thrilled about this. I got, I got teed off a little bit before we started, so you're not seeing the true excitement that came out of me when I heard this. I think it's an awesome idea because yeah. it hasn't been done, it, except for the original Broadway production. Right. Nobody's revisited it. We haven't seen it. it. For those of you who don't know, Jerome Robbins, famed director and choreographer on Broadway, it's his best shows all put together in an amazing review. So it's a musical anthology of all of the great shows from the Golden Age. Such as? On the Town, West Side Story, King and I, Peter Pan, Fiddler on the Roof, <laughs> Gypsy. And then there are two numbers from shows that people might not know, but these numbers are guaranteed to probably be everybody's favorite. It's a very funny number called a Char it's a Charleston from Billion Dollar Baby, mm -hmm. which uh, premiered in, uh, I believe, 45 or 46. And then in the second act, what people say is probably the funniest dance ever staged on Broadway. And it's from High Button Shoes, and it's called the Max Sennett Ballet, and it is <laughs> hilarious. It is so funny. Okay, how did you guys come up with the idea to do this show? Well, I uh, had seen the original production, and I, I dream about this show. It, it, when you see it, it's as if every Broadway dream comes alive within you when you see it, because it is looking back at a way of doing musicals that doesn't exist nowadays. Yeah. Um, one of the reviews, Frank Rich's fa very famous rave review in the New York Times said, it is because of taste. It is not because of hi hydraulics and gizmos and all of those things, but it is because of taste. And only in the theater do we have this elevated sense of taste of in terms of the way it's presented and the mm -hmm. way that it doesn't hit you over the head with uh, a flying helicopter or <laughs> chandelier. Uh, wonder what shows you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it really, it's, it's a show that I cry at from West Side Story. There, the act one ends with uh, a suite from West Side Story. So you go through 30 minutes of the best mo moments of West Side Story and you're, you're crying of sheer, sheer beauty and yeah. what we, this world could be if we could just come together. And then in the second act, your stomach is hurting from laughing so hard at this Max Sennett ballet. Yeah. And it's incredible. Oh, and I also forgot to mention Peter Pan. Yeah, There's a great it. moment of I'm flying where Jerome Robbins choreographed the first flying sequence in a Broadway musical, <laughs> which is incredible. That and was his special effects. That was his hydraulics. Yes, and I, the, the, the reason why is I feel also that directors and choreographers, especially in musicals, are authors. They have visual text that often gets overlooked by audiences. And I'm so anxious for our subscribers and our audiences to get to experience what is undeniably the greatest director and choreographer who ever practiced musicals created. 
Yeah. And it's really incredible. From a PBS point done. of view, what we love about it is the fact that it's yeah. a chance to see kind of like a museum of musical theater put up on stage. You get to see the best moments from the best shows. And of course, as always, there's ranges of tickets and all of that for people to go and see it. And you make it possible yeah. that people. And you also do your outreach and your education around yeah, it and all of sure. that. And it's a wonderful opportunity for people to get a look at classic Broadway, which is often lost today. And often. we understand taste has changed a lot. Yeah. Of it can feel like an amusement park ride, right? But it's great that somebody's bringing back these classics, and in a show like this, you can cover so much ground. So for quickly. sure, for sure. The other thing that is kind of interesting with the whole show is that there are very few theaters that have the scale and the scope to be able to do the show. Uh, it's going to have 250 costumes. It's and oh and that's not in counting all of the shoes that go with that. <laughs> and uh, Theater Under the Stars is one of a handful of theaters, not only in the country but across the world, that can be able to put this on. And you're self-producing. It's not a touring show. It's not somebody's yes. moved over here another <laughs> yes. production. This is yours. Yes. You're insane. I know. We are. We are. But but I, I, I say go big or go home. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So you're going big. If you've got any questions or comments, now that you know what the show is, feel free to write in below, and we will share it with Dan as we continue to chat about this. Also, you're going to have to announce who got it right I am. and who's going to win these tickets. Can I do that now? Do you want to do that now? Sure. Okay. Let's find out. Sure. So uh, in our sweepstakes, I've been told that only two people guessed correctly. So then two of you know that you were right. <laughs> and, uh, but there were over 500 people who submitted, and which I think is telling about how beloved this institution. Before you say who it is, yeah. I'm curious some of the odder choices that came in. Did you see any that you were really like, think, oh, my I Lord? I think, uh, yes, uh, somebody, somebody had guessed like Hamilton, I think, and I, I think you had, had mentioned that. I heard Promises, Promises, which I don't know how they got that. One, I, you know, one I loved that they said was Fosse because <laughs> so they saw the silhouette that we had out. Right. And, you know, that was very astute that they said that because I just wanted to say, oh, you're close. Oh, so close. You're not so quite. close. All but, right, who's our winner now? So our winner... Kimberly Shepard of Baytown. Congratulations, Congrats. Kimberly. So now she doesn't get just tickets to this show. She gets the whole season. She gets the whole season, all six shows. Wow, that's great. Yeah, and our, our subscriptions are really selling fast. So if you have not gotten... Well, we can't do an ad. But if you haven't gotten, <laughs> you should. Because this, those see, uh, seated close, that's what you want... That's what you want on this season. Yeah. We're bringing in an incredible Broadway creative teams to present these shows. And we are so fortunate here in Houston because between you and the Broadway season, yeah. we get 12 amazing shows every year. Yeah. And so Houstonians, you're very fortunate. Most cities don't get that. No. And the cool part about what you do is it's locally produced. It's yeah. our people, our talent being used. I do have a question for you. How are you going to find enough dancers? It's not like like you're doing with Oklahoma, you can't take ballet dancers. They're not Broadway dancers. Yeah. That's going to be a hard casting. Well, it is going to be hard casting. Uh, and one, just going back, one thing is that, yes, we are using local casts. But the other great thing is that we are combining our local talent with Broadway talent. And so it's not just the local, uh, our audiences experience the local talent, but they also get to experience incredible Broadway performers interacting with our local talent. Which is wonderful for our local talent because they get yeah. to work with Broadway. And learn. Broadway talent. Yeah. yeah, and our, the Broadway performers learn from the local talent. So there's a great exchange there. Well, to remind everyone, I'm talking with Dan Connectus, who is Artistic Director of Theater Under the Stars, and they've just announced the final show of their 50th season. They, you've become a group of people. They. He has just announced the final show of their 50th anniversary season, and I'll let you say it again. It's Jerome Rock. Robbins Broadway. It won the Tony for Best Musical in 1989. Now, I'm not sure if my count is right. Either won five or six Tonys. It won six. Okay, so he was the sixth because I because he won for director too. He won of for his own director. Piece. Yeah, <laughs> and he he really is the the premier. And if if there was a hierarchy and a Mount Zeus of Broadway directors and choreographers, <laughs> Jerome Robbins is Zeus. 
Well, I thank you so much for saving the announcement yeah, for us. Of course. And for us being able to be here. I had been guessing a million different things and never guessed this at yeah. all. So I'm so excited about it. And our casting uh, it, it process, as you said, yeah, it's going to be very uh, difficult for that mix, but we're, it's going to be a year-long process. We're going to create a very diverse company to uh, put on the show. Well, I look forward to yeah. seeing it. I look forward to seeing your whole season. I look forward to having you join us back here on Ernie Live all next season as we come live from the different shows, the different cast parties throughout the year, and uh, take your questions and comments and thoughts, and thank you for watching with us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.